Let's go fishing. All right. Hey, Brent, there's already one down here. Come on, Brent. Should we try to catch a fish? Yeah. Okay. Let's see what's down this way. Hi. I'm Bob Jensen. This is Fish in the Midwest. Thanks for stopping by. That's Clear Lake in north central Iowa. In the past few years, Clear Lake has become one of the premier fisheries in the Midwest. Today we're with Kevin Paul. We're going to be chasing walleyes. Let's get out there and see what we can catch. Clear Lake has lots of good boat ramps all around the lake. We put the boat in the water. It was mid-May. Today we're after mainly walleyes. You know, sometimes anglers do kind of strange things. You know, like the guys who live on the south side of the lake always go into the north end to fish, while the guys in the north end always go south. Another thing we do sometimes is we drive by a really good body of water to fish a different body of water a lot further away. I do that quite a bit, and this past spring realized that I had been missing the boat, big time. Clear Lake in north central Iowa is less than a half hour from my house. I used to fish Clear Lake a lot with my dad and my nephew, but hadn't been there much at all in the past few years. Big mistake. Due to renovations in the lake itself, Clear Lake has become one of the premier lakes in the Midwest for a variety of fish. Today, I'm fishing with Kevin Paul, a guide and one of Clear Lake's most successful anglers. As we ran to our spot, Kevin told me about the area we'd be fishing. Yeah, basically what we're doing is just fishing some uh, some humps out here in the little lake, and uh, there's deeper water nearby. You find a shallower spot, a little bit of vegetation growing on top, and the walleyes tend to swim up to feed up around that vegetation. We got to the spot, put some slip bobbers with leeches out, and started catching walleyes almost right away. Lots of them. It's way down. Look at it. Look at there. There we go. Look at it right there. You see it? Walleye. It'll be a walleye when it grows up. Yeah, I see Can you that. swing him? Yeah. Ooh, I got a bobber down too. Bobber down in the back? Bobber down in the back. This one feels a little better, Kevin. Feel decent? Yeah. I don't think I'm gonna swing him this one. No, he's not that big, but he's he's a nice yeah, old boy. All right. Absolutely. Absolutely. There you go. There you go. Good. Didn't take too long. Good. Bobber down. Isn't that fun? Nice Bobber goes down. Fish. You know, that's just good stuff. Brings back memories of fishing as a little kid, you know. I know. So something you know too is kind of what we were talking about earlier. You get into a bite like this and and the, the fish come in schools, yeah. so it's kind of important to make sure we uh, kind keep of our lines in the water. <laughs> yeah. yeah, boy, they're healthy, aren't they? That's a fat fish. Look at that guy. Beautiful fish. I like that. That's just good stuff. Bobber down. You know, that's just fun. In Iowa, you can use two rods per person. Here's another bobber down. There he goes again. This time he's got it. Whoa, this one feels better too. Whoa, look at this one. This one feels better, Kevin. Cool. Yeah, there. I like it. I'm liking it. Meet nice there too, yeah. Now, what is the length limit on Clear Lake? Uh, length limit is 14 inches, and uh, it has to be 14 to keep. And that was 14? He's right there. Yeah, he's probably 14 and a half. Okay, but look at it, he ate that thing, look at that. Man, these guys are hungry, aren't they? Right on top of the mount too, so that shouldn't injure that fish at all. Kevin, this is a heck of a fast bite. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's early June, and, and, and in Iowa, Clear Lake, actually just Clear Lake, walleye season is open year-round here, isn't it? It is open year-round, yep, yep. So when the ice goes out, you can go fishing. Yeah, you know, that's exactly it. It is year-round fishing, and, and the bite's really good in the spring, too. Yeah. You usually start, you know, April, or early April is probably about the best time, you know, in the spring to to really take part of that. But while they start to spawn and stuff, you know. And but then that bite goes quite a Oh, I've got one on there. I got I did. But the bite goes pretty good all into the summer, doesn't it? It does, yeah. Um, once this bobber bite dies off, then we'll start trolling cranks. Um, last year's, here we go, fish on this one too. Go ahead. Last year, the. Oh, that's uh, yours anyway. We did really good on the spinners, pulling spinners and crawler harnesses out the main lake. This is a little better one, I think. Is it? Feels like it. Looks like it. Yeah. You want to net with him? Um, yeah. I think I can get him. He's. Think so? Yeah. Ooh, that's a big swinger. He is a big swinger. That's yeah. pretty big to be swinging. <laughs> Once again, that 
That little whistler jig, right in the upper lip. Pretty healthy fish, aren't they? Yeah, beautiful Look fish. at that nice looking fish. Look at them. Yeah. Another 14 and a half, 15 incher. We're fishing the jigs under Northland light bite bobbers. These bobbers have a brass grommet, so the line slides through the bobber very easily. Six pound test bionic walleye line is about right. I like a longer rod with slip bobbers. Cabela's has several medium action spinning rods in the six and a half and seven foot length that are just about perfect for slip bobbers. And now let's take a quick break for another School of Fish with Mike Frisch. Mike Frisch here with School of Fish. You know, one of my favorite fishing techniques and one that School of Fish kids learn how to use is a slip bobber setup. A slip bobber setup has some real advantages. We're gonna talk about a couple of them, but the real brains in the slip bobber setup is the sliding bobber stop. This slides up and down the line. So what I can do is I can adjust the depth that I'm fishing. We're fishing on a dock today, off a dock today, fishing very shallow. So I've got my depth set shallow, but if I'm out fishing deep water, I can slide the stop away and fish a lot deeper water. So one of the beauties of a slip bobber setup is we can change the depth for fishing, but we don't have to cut and retie. Another thing that I like about a slip bobber is because of this bobber stop, it makes landing fish simple and it makes casting a lot easier as well because the bobber stop will actually reel right up on the rod. With an old fashioned bobber setup, when I went to land a fish, I could reel until the rod tip hits the bobber. That's as far as I can reel. With a slip bobber, I can reel all the way down to the weight or the jig. It makes landing fish a lot easier. The other thing is, these old fashioned bobbers are pretty cumbersome to cast, especially if I'm fishing a depth of five or six feet. I've got all this line out. The slip bobber, again, because the stop reels up on the reel, I can cast a lot easier. It's a lot safer. Kids fishing on the dock, we don't have to worry about them hooking each other. It's a lot safer, and again, when they catch fish, it's a lot more efficient in terms of being able to land those fish. Catching some bluegills and obviously some bass off the dock today, let's get back after them. Thanks, Mike, good information. Beautiful weather, the walleyes are biting. When we come back, we'll catch some more, stay tuned. Fishing the Midwest is presented by Bionic Line, your fish, your line. Beautiful Cabotogama Lake, gateway to Voyagers National Park. Evan Root E-Tech, 300 hours, no dealer scheduled maintenance. Offshore Tackle, your leader in trolling technology. Evan Root E-Tech has been outperforming four-stroke engines for years. But what about the latest 154 strokes that claim to deliver two-stroke-like torque? See the proof for yourself. Get your free DVD now and watch how the two-stroke Evan Root E-Tech 150 out pulls and out accelerates the four-stroke competition. See how it wins when it comes to maintenance, ease of winterization, and more. Evan Root E-Tech is the true champion. Go to EvanRoot150Challenge.com and get your free DVD now. Lake Cabotogama in Voyagers National Park is your year-round destination for experiencing nature at its finest. Enjoy the solitude of the pristine wilderness while having all the comforts of home available at the many full-service resorts. The fishing is world-class. So are all the other outdoor activities that are abundant in all the seasons. Cab is the perfect place for your family or group of friends, and Cab is an easy drive from anywhere in the Midwest. Cabotogama Lake in northern Minnesota. Discover Cab now. boat ride on the water, a concert in the shadow of legends, a day of fishing in one of the premier fisheries in the Midwest. These are just a few of the wonderful attractions Clear Lake has to offer. Nestled in northern Iowa, Clear Lake is known for its beautiful scenic landscapes, top-rated beaches, and yearly events. From the annual winter dance party to the blockbuster 4th of July celebration, Clear Lake has something for everyone. Stay at the shore and explore. 
Bell Specialty Marine Service is their specialty. The Bruggenfeest family has been in the boat business for almost 35 years. For performance and reliability, you can't beat a Ranger boat team with an Evinrude motor. Their staff knows exactly how to rig your boat for maximum pleasure. Al Specialty Marine also has premier pontoons and a wide variety of other boats that will fit your needs. Al Specialty Marine will do an outstanding job of taking care of all your boating needs. Al Specialty Marine, stop on by. Al Specialty Marine. Welcome back to Fishing the Midwest. Kevin Paul knows how to catch Clear Lake walleyes. Let's have him show us some more tips for Clear Lake walleye success. Kevin, you know, sometimes you think of bobbers as being kind of a, oh, a beginner type technique, but if you want to really present a bait at an exact level, you can't beat a bobber, can you? Yeah, bobber fishing, it, it really allows you to be real precise. Um, precision fishing is part of the key, especially when you're fishing like what we're doing today, which is the shallower humps. We're surrounded by deep water and it comes up to five foot and working these uh, tabletop shelves and the fish are coming up to feed. So, so the water's five feet deep. How deep are we setting the bobber? Uh, the bobbers are set at about four foot. Right about there, yep. Here we go again, another double. How's yours? Uh, it's a small one. But when you get on the spot, I mean, that's where the fish are, isn't it? I mean, it's very noticeable. But you have to keep moving until you find the fish. Oh. Yeah, you noticed a little bit ago, we drifted off that spot, and you know what happened, we didn't catch anything. Got back over to where we originally started, and bam, fish on. Uh, so what is this area we're fishing? What makes it, why are we fishing here? Um, well, we're sitting over around a deeper hole, and then it comes up, there's a shelf here, it comes up to five foot, and the fish are just attracted to these areas. In between fish, let's make a run to Cabela's to take a look at a battery that will make your fishing more efficient and enjoyable. Ryan, this new X900 series of batteries from Cabela's is a heck of a product. It's going to make fishing and life easier for fishermen, isn't it? It is. It has a uh, four-year guaranteed warranty, full replacement warranty on it. Um, it's rated for 900 cycles, and that is from a 50% discharge to a recharge, that's one cycle. So it's guaranteed for 900 of those. Nine, that's a lot of, that's a lot of, a lot of cycles. That's a lot of charges. And it, it holds that charge quite a while. It does. It has a reserve capacity of 195 minutes. So at a full draw, a 23 amp draw, you're gonna get uh, 195 minutes on that. Which is a lot. That is a lot of minutes. That's over three hours of, uh, of runtime off that battery. Yeah, and that's full speed running. That's full speed running. Yep. yep. And no maintenance. No maintenance. It's a fully sealed battery. It's an AGM battery. It's a glass mat. Um, there's no putting water into it or maintaining it at all, just you know, keep it charged. And you got the posts, uh, two on each side? You do have two on each side, and that's to run your, your, both your motor and your uh, accessories off that, so you can get a, a number of electronics hooked up to that uh, battery and still run it. It's the Cabela's X900 Marine Battery, available only at Cabela's. Good stuff, those batteries are a real improvement. Now back to Clear Lake. Kevin, in the past few years, Clear Lake has changed a lot. You know, the, 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 the lake itself, they did some dredging. What all went on there? What they did is they dredged out all the silt off the bottom, and then they discharged that out in the uh, couple miles outside of town here. And uh, it's really created a lot of nice structure and good habitat for these fish. And, and it's, uh, it's a whole new world down there, I'll tell you that. Yeah, this area here used to be just a big flat, four feet deep all the way across, and now there's 20 feet of water out there. 28 foot, yeah, in the deep, really? yeah. And there's been a lot of things going on just to create better water quality, as I understand it. Yeah, that's one thing they have noticed, uh, basically why they did this. This is part of a water quality project. And uh, it all starts with draining this out. They're doing some things with the Ventura Marsh as well to really help uh, the silt from filling back in and, you know, and, and getting that uh, water clarity where they would like to see it. And how has that affected the fishing? So far, I think it's, the, it's really made the fishing quite a bit better. Uh, you know, the, the walleyes and stuff with all these different shelves and break lines, it's a, more ambush spots, you know, before it was just a flat base and now there's spots for them to actually to feed on and, and stuff and I think it's really, really making for a real nice lake. I've heard a number of other species of fish populations are getting really strong. This winter was probably one of the best crappie fishing winters we've ever had, at least that I can remember. And, you know, and I'm from, like I said, Forest City, which is 30 miles and I've fished here my whole life. so. It, uh, it is really nice to see this, uh, you know, to see all the hard work finally pay off, you know, it, it's really nice to see that. Deal? Got him? Yep. Yeah, having multiple lines out there just, you know, it increases your chances of getting bit. This one feels bigger. But he's not. He's just nice, you know, just a nice eater. Just that almost too big to be swinging again. Got him? Yeah, just that nice eater size. 
but having multiple lines is just a huge benefit. It definitely helps you cover more water. Sure. I've been throwing bobbers on one side and then we go to the other side and definitely. Well, and we can work with different jig colors. Mm -hmm. You know, and sometimes that jig color is an important deal. I mean, sometimes they want a pink jig or sometimes they want that, that green jig with a spinner on it. Well, I'll tell you what, they've done such an outstanding job of making Clear Lake a premier fishery. When we come back, we'll explore it some more. Stay tuned. Fishing the Midwest is brought to you by Impulse. Excite the bite with scent, color, and action. Clear Lake, Iowa Chamber of Commerce. Stay at the shore and explore. Salmo. Insist on Salmo. Impulse soft baits. 143% more effective than the competition. And the best alternative to live bait. Unique colors, actions, scent. Impulse soft plastics catch more fish, period. Lake Cabotogoma in Voyagers National Park is your year-round destination for experiencing nature at its finest. Enjoy the solitude of the pristine wilderness while having all the comforts of home available at the many full-service resorts. The fishing is world-class. So are all the other outdoor activities that are abundant in all the seasons. Cab is the perfect place for your family or group of friends, and Cab is an easy drive from anywhere in the Midwest. Cabotogoma Lake in northern Minnesota. Discover Cab now. I started using Salmo Hornets more and more a few years ago, and in those few years, I'm catching more and more fish. There's just something about a hornet that makes a walleye or a bass or a panfish or whatever want to eat it. Hornets have a lifetime guarantee and they're hand tuned so they run perfect right out of the box. Cabela's has an outstanding selection of hornets in the best sizes and colors and the folks at Cabela's can tell you which ones are the hottest. Salmo didn't invent the crankbait, they just perfected it. Insist on Salmo at Cabela's. Welcome back to Fishing the Midwest. It's walleye weather. Let's catch some more. Oh yeah. Isn't it yeah, nice fish? Yeah, yeah. Which way do you want me to go? Right here, good. A nice Heck eater. Yes, absolutely. And you get lots of them that size. Yeah. Do you really? Nice fish. 15 fat. and a half, almost yep. 16, probably yep. nice fish. Just once again, just to warp that jig. People will drive a long way to catch, you know, walleyes like that. 15 and a half, 16 inches. Beautiful fish. Kevin mentioned the crappie fishing in Clear Lake. Let's see if we can catch a couple crappies. We're just flipping small jigs tipped with impulse mini smelt under slip bobbers around docks, and there are some crappies home. He hit it as hard as he could. He just couldn't hit very hard because he's not big enough. Pink and white one. bigger than that. The crappie bite was fast and we caught some really nice ones. Here's a good one. Ooh, look at that one. Whoa. <laughs> That's a raptor. Look at that one. Can you get good numbers in those guys here? It's it comes on and off, yeah. you know? Wow. Definitely the ones we're after. Crappies are fun, but we wanted to see if we could catch some more walleyes. Trolling is another really good way to catch walleyes on Clear Lake, and pulling planer boards is perhaps the most effective method of trolling. We put some boards on, and it wasn't long until we had action. Yeah, that's a nice fish right there. See it on the that's surface a good there? one, yeah. See, and with crankbaits, 
We just let him go. We'll net this fish real, real quick. Yeah, sure. Good eater. We were pulling salmon number four and five hornets. These hornets catch everything. We caught walleyes, yellow bass, and white bass pulling hornets. If you want to be a consistent walleye catcher on Clear Lake, or pretty much anywhere, you really need to incorporate planer boards into your fishing. And offshore boards are a really good board choice. Boy, Clear Lake is such a diverse fishery. Walleyes, yellow bass, white bass, crappies, muskies, the whole deal. When we come back, we'll be out there catching some more. Fishing the Midwest is presented by Northland Fishing Tackle. Made by fishermen for fishermen. Cabela's, it's in your nature. Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. Dakota Grills, release your inner chef. Impulse Soft Baits. 143% more effective than the competition. And the best alternative to live bait. Unique colors, actions, scent. Impulse Soft Plastics catch more fish, period. for the worse, you need more than a hope for the best. It's why every Ranger multi-species design is geared to crush rough water while delivering solid tracking and a smooth, dry run. Coupled with Evinrude E-Tex power, performance, and 300 hours with no dealer schedule maintenance, these total performance machines are built for the battle. Experience more with Evinrude E-Tech. The more they change, the more fun it is to look back and remember. Life Touch School Photography. At Al's Specialty Marine, service is their specialty. The Bruggenfeest family has been in the boat business for almost 35 years. For performance and reliability, you can't beat a Ranger boat team with an Evinrude motor. Their staff knows exactly how to rig your boat for maximum pleasure. Al's Specialty Marine also has premier pontoons and a wide variety of other boats that will fit your needs. Al's Specialty Marine will do an outstanding job of taking care of all your boating needs. Al's Specialty Marine, stop on by. Al's Specialty Marine. Welcome back to Fish in the Midwest. The bite continues. Wading is a great way to catch all sorts of fish in Clear Lake in the spring. Yellow bass in particular are popular in the shallows in the spring. They're easy to catch and they're absolutely great on the table. Will Hunsaker catches lots of yellows every year. He has this to say about Clear Lake yellow bass. I just think it's a phenomenon of this particular area. What other kind of fish can you go and catch this many? There's no limit, I really like that. Because when I go out fishing, I like to catch. I tell people I don't really like to fish, I like to catch. Like to catch, yeah. And uh, the yellows, the DNR allow you to catch as many as you want. I fish the island. You have to have waders basically to fish the island because of the cold. But uh, it's something you don't need a lot of specialized equipment for. You don't. In fact, the pole that I have, you saw earlier, it probably cost me uh, thirty dollars, something like that. And uh, normally I'll go through a couple of reels. I just wear them out with all the casting I do at the beginning. Now as the spawn goes on, as you saw, I jig. Yeah. Uh, what's that jig you're using? It's a uh, sixty-fourth ounce uh, Northland Firefly jig, and in my opinion. Uh, it has just been awesome. Uh, and for the last almost two weeks, I've caught them every morning, every night. Uh, I've had 10 days that I've gone over 100 fish just the time that I went out. And how long is that? Uh, I fish normally about an hour to an hour and a half. 100 fish in an hour to an hour and a half? Yes. 
And these things on the table are just so good. They are. Absolutely, yeah. My name is Lori Leitz. I'm the executive director of the Surf Ballroom and Museum in Clear Lake, Iowa. The Surf Ballroom has been a large part of Clear Lake's history. Lori Leitz is very active in the Clear Lake community. She offers these ideas about Clear Lake. In addition to spectacular fishing, Clear Lake also has year-round family fun events and attractions that you won't find anywhere else. The Surf Ballroom was built to resemble a Florida beach club by the original builder and owner, Carl Fox. He had a home in Florida, and he wanted to bring back to the Midwest a flavor of what that was like, a place for people to take a step back in time. It was built as a lavish South Seas Beach Club. The dance floor is to look as though you're on a beach that's the same color as sand. There's cabana-style roofs over the booths and in the lounge area, and there's also a dark, navy blue dome over the ballroom where you could dance under the stars and even today is still doing what it was built to do. In 2009 we were recognized by the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in Cleveland, Ohio as one of the venues where the history of rock and roll was changed and in 2011 we were recognized and placed on the National Registry of Historic Places and Rolling Stone magazine has also recognized the Surf Ballroom as one of the top 20 big rooms in America to play. The Surf Ballroom is internationally known mostly because of our tie into rock and roll history after February 2nd, 1959, when Buddy Holly, Richie Valens, and the Big Bopper played their last concert here. After their concert, they boarded a plane for northern Minnesota to their next engagement and unfortunately never made it. It's on a lot of people's bucket lists that um, they come to the Surf Ballroom and see the stage where they last perform on. There is a monument out in the farm field, at the memorial site where the plane came to rest. In 2008, the nonprofit was formed, a 501c3, to take over the operations of the ballroom. So we're open as a museum by day. We have live concerts, big band dancing and entertainment, and we also are host to educational opportunities for everyone from walking to 99 and above. So we've got a little bit of something for everyone. We're also used as a wedding reception location and a venue for meetings. No matter what you and your family like to do, you'll find it right here in Clear Lake. There are so many things I like about Clear Lake. All the different activities around town. The South Shore Inn, that's where we stayed. The South Shore Inn has great lodging and a restaurant outside overlooking the lake. Really good food, really nice place. I like that you can fish at Clear Lake year round. You can be on the water catching walleyes for at least a month before the season opens in other states and you're almost always going to get bit. If it's not a walleye, it might be a yellow bass or a white bass or a crappie or a catfish or a muskie. Clear Lake truly is a great place to go fishing or visit 365 days a year. I promise you this, after seeing the outstanding fishing that Clear Lake can provide, I'm going to be visiting there a lot more. Maybe we'll see you there. What a day of fishing on Clear Lake. We caught so many fish, lots of eater-sized walleyes. If you want to get in on one of the premier fisheries in the Midwest, you got to visit Clear Lake. Hey, for all of us at Fishing the Midwest, thanks for stopping by. Be nice to one another. We'll see you again next time. All right, guys.